Do you ever wonder what your life's purpose is? Do you ever wonder why you've been put on this planet Earth or what is it that you can be doing that gives more meaning and purpose to your life? Do you ever ask yourself or ask others, what should I be doing with my life or what is my purpose? I just don't really know exactly what it is or I don't really know exactly how to find it. I feel like uh, that my life has some sort of purpose and meaning. I just don't know exactly what it is. If you ask yourself any of those questions, then you're not alone. <laughs> and in this podcast, I'm going to share with you much deeper insights into what is a life purpose and how do you find your life's purpose and what does it mean to be living on purpose in your life, which ultimately gives you more meaning, more happiness and fulfillment in your life. Hello and welcome to Activating Greatness. I'm Nathan Crane, an award-winning author, documentary filmmaker, and health and wellness expert. And I'm Derek Crane, a certified personal trainer, health and fitness coach, and trainer of professional athletes. Each week, we broadcast new episodes with experts on life, health, fitness, business, and leadership to help you manifest the greatness that's already within you. Activating Greatness is about helping you live your life to your fullest potential and live with more meaning, purpose, health, and fulfillment. So what I've come to believe along my journey in this life so far is that every single human being has a life purpose. And I don't necessarily mean, you know, a spiritually preordained life purpose that, uh, you know, you agreed to in some etheric contract in a previous life before you came here into this body, though, if that's your belief, um, you know, that's okay too. But what I mean by life purpose is that when you're living on purpose, in purpose, in your life purpose, however esoteric that is, or however practical it is, that things just seem to go the right way for you. Things just seem to flow. Your life has meaning and fulfillment and happiness. You know, I've seen it over and over and over again when people are just bored with their life or they feel like, you know, they're missing out or they feel like their life really has no meaning or purpose. They're just running through the motions, going to a job they really don't enjoy just to pay the bills, uh, going home, watching TV, going to bed and doing it all over again. They feel like their life doesn't have a lot of meaning or purpose. And what I've also seen on the other end of the spectrum is that people who are waking up excited to start the day, excited to uh, live the life that they know they're meant to live, excited to fulfill their life's destiny, if you will, or really get to experience and enjoy the purpose that they're living or the purpose that they're working towards. Now, I believe everybody can find that purpose and can live with purpose in their life. It's a matter of one, accepting that you do have a life purpose, that you are here for a reason, whether it's from God or from your higher self or just from being a human being, you are here for a reason. And I really do believe things happen for a reason. And I really do believe, and I've seen it over and over and over again in my life, that when you are living with purpose, that your life is so much more magnificent, adventurous, fun, fulfilling, no matter how challenging it might, might be. It doesn't mean there's no challenges, right? But no matter how, many challenge, how, how challenging it might be, that you're still excited to wake up. You're still wanting to go and, and go to that job or that work or that business or that school or that volunteering thing that you're doing because it gives you purpose and meaning. You know, the definition of purpose in the dictionary says the reason for which something is done or created or for which something exists. So what do you exist for? What were you created for? What is your purpose for being here? Another definition of purpose is have as one's intention or objective. Now, I think it's a little more practical way of looking at purpose, right? What is your intention? What is your objective in this life? What have you identified that gives you meaning and purpose in your life that you're excited to go out into the world and do every single day, right? So identifying your purpose is one of the most important things I think we need to do as human beings. And what I've learned in my life is that purposes can 
evolve, they can change, they can transform over time. Um, and I've certainly seen it in, in my own life. I've seen uh, how doing one thing, working in a certain kind of business I never thought I'd be involved in, uh, eventually gave me a lot of experience and training and knowledge to be doing the work that I'm doing now. Uh, another example is I, I used to get my mom's really old uh, like kind of VHS type camera when I was a kid and would film uh, me and my friends uh, skateboarding, for example, just for the heck of it. And now I make featured film documentaries, right? And it's something I love to do. And it's a way for me to share passion and knowledge out to the world to help people, you know? So look back at your life and identify what are those things you did just for the fun of it, just for the heck of it, just because you were drawn towards it and then see how you can develop that, right? I didn't go from filming uh, with no experience to then making documentaries. There was a process, and, but I continued to listen to that voice and to follow uh, that instinct, that intuition, and developed my video skills over time. I didn't go to school, though that's something you could do. I didn't have any formal training, uh, though that's something you could do. I just realized it was a passion of mine and I wanted to continue it. And the first kind of films, uh, initial projects I worked on, you know, were not very good at all. <laughs> but I continued to learn, to get better, to learn from experts, to keep doing it. And now, you know, they're getting better and better and better every time I do more videos, more projects, more documentaries, things like that, right? So, um, and it's something I, I, I have a passion for. And I wouldn't say that's my life's purpose, but it certainly is part of it, right? And so as you start identifying more of what is your purpose in life, you'll start noticing different pieces and parts of it. My marketing and sales background, you know, I used to, uh, I was doing marketing and sales when I was a, when I was a kid in middle school. Um, you know, I wasn't, it wasn't a formal thing, obviously, and I wasn't working for a company, but then I ended up, you know, getting into marketing and sales when I was 18, and that kind of saved my life and changed the trajectory of my life. And then from there, I got into owning my first corporation uh, with seven business partners when I was 20, and then that led to more businesses, more companies, more experiences, uh, more successes, more failures, and to where I am now, which is, you know, doing a lot of things on purpose, living in my life's purpose. And I've uh, gotten more and more clear as to what that is, but you have to figure out what that is for you. What is it that you love to do, that brings you joy, that you're passionate about, that you would do whether somebody paid you or not? That's really one of the underlying conditions you need to determine to say, you know what, this is part of my life's purpose. And again, allow your purpose to unfold, to change, to evolve over time. You know, something I thought I was going to be doing six years ago, um, I recognize is part of the purpose of my life in the future, right? And I'm working towards that in different ways. You know, now my just kind of obsession with fitness and CrossFit and understanding physiology and mobility and movement and exercise and all of that, um, you know, I never would have thought that was part of my purpose, you know, five years ago or 10 years ago. And now I recognize how important it is to me because I love it so much. And I recognize how that's part of what I'm here to do into the future of my life as well. So uh, purposes can change over time and allow that to happen naturally. And um, you can have multiple purposes, right? Living with purpose in life doesn't mean you just have one set only purpose. That's it. You do that and then your life is over. I don't believe that. That might feel that way for some people and that's okay. Um, I certainly haven't seen that in my life and in other people's lives. I see that, you know, our lives are these just grand mosaics of beauty and creativity. And when you're pulling the different pieces of your experience and your knowledge and wisdom and past and present together, it starts really culminating into what you might call your life's purpose. And again, whether you're in your 20s or your 70s, your purpose can change and you need to be open and willing to allow that to, to evolve naturally. There's such a great quote by Joseph Campbell. And um, he says, my general formula for my students is follow your bliss. I mean, you've probably heard that so many times, right? Follow your bliss. Find where it is and don't be afraid to follow it. Follow your bliss. What does that mean? It means find the things 
that give you joy, that give you happiness, that bring you bliss in your life. And as I said at the beginning, that you would do for free whether somebody paid you or not and follow that. See where that takes you, right? I started making films and movies and things like that with no intention of ever being paid. And now I get paid really well to do video projects for companies and for things that I believe in and, and for projects and documentaries, right? Because it was just something that gave me some sense of joy or meaning or happiness. Find out what, it, what that is for you. What is it that gives you joy? What is it that gives you bliss, that gives you meaning in your life? And then follow that, expand it, uh, and allow it to blossom. Um, another great quote from uh, a spiritual mentor of mine years ago, a Buddhist monk from Thailand. His name was Pra Ajahn Yantra Amaro. And he, he quotes the Buddha in saying this, and I don't know if the Buddha actually said this or not, but it's something that's always stuck with me. He said, do anything you want to do in this life. Do anything, try everything, go everywhere. Do anything you want, as long as you're not hurting yourself, and hurting others. Now, that's a really profound thing, right? Because sometimes you feel restricted, like, oh, I wish I could do this, or I wish I could do that, but I can't. I don't have the money, I don't have the time, I don't... But with all that aside, if you really just decide to do something because you want to do it, you will and can find a way to do it. I know you can. I've seen it over and over in my life and in many other people's lives. If you really want to do something, if you're passionate about it, if you have love for it, all you have to do is be resourceful. Pull the people, the resources, the knowledge together to make it happen. And, and it can happen and it will happen. Do whatever you want in this life. Just don't do things that are going to hurt you and hurt other people. And you know, with that framework, there's a lot of things you can do in this life and a lot of beautiful things you can enjoy and, and full, you know, really experience more happiness and fulfillment in your life. Tony Robbins says, true fulfillment comes from designing your own life. To find your purpose, you must decide what's truly right and know it by your heart and soul, not by your fears or your head. A decision made from fear is always the wrong decision Always. It will not get you to understanding what is my purpose, but instead drive you further away. Again, as I was saying, you know, the fear of, oh, I don't have enough this, I don't have enough that, I don't have the knowledge, the experience, the background, the money, whatever. Those are thoughts of fear, right? And those take you further away from your purpose. You have to come from the thought of, you know what, this is something I want, and I'm going to figure out a way to make it happen. He also says, when you come back to your core, your core, and stop looking for external affirmation, you'll find it sets you apart from others. That's how you find purpose and fulfillment. As I said at the beginning of this podcast as well, only you can determine what your purpose is. And it's usually almost always identified with something you really love to do. And that could be giving back to others. It could be volunteering at your local shelters. It could be working with kids. It could be doing art. It could be doing sports. It could be health and fitness. It could be nutrition. It could be education. It could be anything, right? But Follow your bliss. Find what's important for you. And usually, a life of meaning and purpose is always associated with giving back to others. Giving back through education, through resources, through support in any way that you can. And if you're doing that, your life is going to be so much more meaningful. You know, when, when you get to change somebody's life by how you helped them or supported them, how you volunteered or you educated them, the, the smiles on people's faces, the, the comments, and they come and say, you know, thank you so much. What you said or what you did, it really opened me up. It gave me a new perspective. It uh, changed my life. These kinds of things are what bring so much happiness and fulfillment to our lives. And, uh, and I hope that you find that in your life. And if you have found it, continue expanding it and growing it and sharing it with others. That's it for today's episode. Our hope and desire is that you get as much out of these interviews and episodes as we do. Each week, you can count on us being here to help you activate the greatness that's already within you. And we can all do that by continuing to develop and grow our minds, bodies, emotions, and connection to a higher purpose. Please make sure to share this with your friends on Facebook, iTunes, Twitter, and Instagram. 
tag Crane Factor, and use the hashtag Activating Greatness so we can continue growing this community together and changing the world for the better. Remember, you already have greatness within you. You just need to activate it. Thanks again, and we'll talk to you on the next episode.